most of the peop- actions which people do in this world do not prepare them for death whatsoever. So that's why they are pointless. A pointful action is the action which prepares you for death and makes sure uh, that your future is secure. Because people are talking about future security all the time. People are even having insurances and all kinds of things to secure their future. But your future is only secure when you work towards it in an actual manner. Where you stay above hells because you don't want to go in there. You have to be very conscious about the fact that I don't want to be in those situations. Bad situations. Mostly the people like who have spirit, when they are put it back into the reincarnation cycle, what you call the reincarnation cycle, they take another birth and they take another birth, they take another birth. Because all these things which we talked about have not been worked out. All the psychological issues have not been worked out. All the knowing has not been worked out. All the consciousness has not been worked out so that you are ready for more different kind of experience. And that's why people, even right now, if they retire, they're 70, 60, 70 or whatever. They don't know anything either yes. after that age. People can be 80 right now, 90. They still don't know a single thing about death right. or what's going to happen afterwards. They have no knowledge of that, even when they come so close to that. Because there, there's three things which will happen. Either a spirit which gets out from here, it exits, which is very rare. Okay. Or it comes back into reincarnation cycle back here. Or the third thing is that it goes to lower place like hells. So there are three options. So their preparation for that is zero. It's like a journey. Like, you know, like if even if people go for a little journey, then they pack their bags and do everything and get, get everything sorted and ready. But right. the big journey, like after death and all of that, nobody's prepared for that journey. So, I mean, there are some realities which are not even faced. People tell their kids to not face death. If the kids talk about death, if they see someone dying, they'll say like, oh, what is this? Then they will say, oh, nothing, nothing. They don't even want kids to face right. these reality of this existence okay which right. is a very wrong thing to do like you can't keep them right. sheltered from those facts or truths and that's also observation in the present you know like if you see some dead body or somebody dying or someone in the area or family or anything so then that reality hits you even if you are not dying or you're not dead you know it's just facing that reality in that present moment that this actually happens to like you know and it can ha- it'll happen to me too just being aware in that moment and conscious is important. So once these things are paid attention to, that's when the Vedic will come into more limelight compared to the current education system. Because Vedic deals with actual life and death matters, yes. not just uh, frivolous, superficial right. nonsense that happens in society. Yeah, so that, obviously people don't understand that. They think that uh, death is somehow going to change everything. You know, once you come out of this physical body, then everything will be different. Okay, and then you can just do the thing and you can take a leap into higher dimensions and things like that without having done any kind of psychological work here or any behavioral work or any understanding properly while being in the body. So that's a misconception a lot of people are having on like which you can see in a lot of YouTube things around the world right now. In order to go to higher realms, you need to evolve to that state, that behavioral stage, to that control state, to that discipline stage where you can be there. Otherwise, it's back to the prison. <laughs> and that's not fun. Then again, the whole, that thing starts. And you know, when you're born, your memory is not there. You have to take time to build up memory. You have to take time to build up the consciousness and that thing again. And It's not easy out here. So people who are in the cycle out here should understand that life is not easy out here. And they should obviously take steps to get out and to get to a more better existence i mean any being should want better existence that is just normal and natural people think that there is a this or that or this complicated thing required to go to higher planes it's not that all that is required is proper behavior and how will you learn proper behavior by learning how to use your body properly that is how you're going to learn proper behavior and if you don't learn that on earth then you're wasting your physical life you're wasting a life basically you're wasting your whole uh, existence of the point of being here in the first place. So whatever you have to do, you have to do quickly in this plane. That whole thing is there. That sense of urgency is there. In order to face death, you should know how to face death. Because death can come anytime. And you don't have much time. One should always be like that. And that is the only being which can actually live life properly. 
I have a video series called PBS, Real Solution to All the Problems, on my channel, Lotus Ocean. So it's called uh, PBS, P B S. It's called Tapasya in Sanskrit, and in English, the word is penance. When you want something, you have to do penance to get it. So that's called Tapasya. So I've explained what that is in detail in those series of videos. And then people can see my other interviews as well. I've explained some things there. And there is my book, Peace Gita. Yes. Just for the so I've explained very well in that what needs to be done. If you're serious about evolving and escaping or getting out of the reincarnation cycle, then I have put those things forward.